name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and at all times, and forever and ever, Amen. Today is the fifth Sunday of the Holy Lent. Happy Sunday, everyone. I want you to observe with me that the Gospel readings on the Sundays of the Holy Lent are quite encouraging because they show us that God is so generous with us. For example, if we started to talk about the gospel of the prodigal son, after he wasted all the money of his father, he returned it back, and God made a big celebration for him, and he gave him a ring on his hand, and made a huge party for him so generous. In the Gospel to the Samaritan woman, the Lord also was very generous with her. He spoke with her very nicely, and he preached her and preached the people in the village of the Samaritan village. And when they asked him to stay with them, he stayed two days with them. So generous in every step that he did. Today also in the fifth Sunday, in the sick man beside the bull of, of Bethesda, God gave him tremendous amount of gift. He was sick for 38 years, miserable, sick physically and mentally, and God came around to him, for him. He came to him in order to heal him and make him feel better and even when he talked to him he was so nice to him and he asked him gently do you want to be healed to that extent god was so gentle with him and he healed him totally similarly next sunday for the man who was born blind god was so generous and created new eyes for him and he gave faith to him as well. I want to stress on the generosity of God. Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Yeshua al Messiah, Hua, Hua Ems, Wal Yom, Wal Al Abad. Uzay can Ma'anes Dolat Shafu Giddan, Warahim Giddan, Wayoti Bissaha Aksar Mahumma Tawakao. إحنا معانا كمان لازال بيعمل وإحنا كمان يعطينا ويفرحنا أكثر ما نتوقع. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 3 verse 20 يقول إيه؟ Him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think to give us He he who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. يعطي الجميع بسخاء أكثر مما نفتكر أو نظن ويعطينا لازال يعطينا إلى الآن لأن يسوع المسيح هو هو أمس واليوم وإلى الأبد. So many people think wrongly that God only gives us eternal life. But they want a proof now. They want to show what God is doing for us now. And it's very important to emphasize this point. Not only that Jesus came to give us eternal life, but he came to give us better life, peaceful life. He said, peace I give to you. My peace I give to you. Not like the peace of the world, I give to you. Salami atruk lakum, salami ana atikum. Laysa kama yu'ti al-alam, atikum an. Fasalam al-Masih, huwa da illi bidji aktar min kulli al-alam. Falama wahid iftikir in li bas al-Masih bidjini al-haya al-abadiyya, mush bas kira bidjini haya liha ma'ana hina huwa. I want you kindly to read with me. Luke 4, 4, 
verse 18. Luke 4, verse 18. Just to show you that Jesus not only uh, came for eternal life, but to give us also a better life here on earth. Luke 4, 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. أبشر المساكين جه المسيح عشان يفرح الناس He has sent me to heal the broken hearted جه علشان أي حد قلبه تعبان متضايق المسيح يفرحه فمش بس eternal life to proclaim liberty to the captives يعطي حرية للمنكسرين أو اللي هم مأسورين to, get, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. We are نظر للعميان ويعطي للعميان البصر. شوف قد إيه. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. كل الناس المنسحقين والتعبانين ربنا يسوع المسيح متخصص إن هو يفرحه. يبقى النقطة اللي عاوزين نعرفها كلين للنهاردة. That Christ did not come only for eternal life. He came for eternal life and also to give us better life on earth, more meaningful and more peaceful life on earth. Remember that the man who was sick by the pool of Bethesda, the cause of his sickness as revealed in the gospel was because of his sins. This is why the Lord Christ said, You are now healed, do not go back to sinful life. Clearly, that sinful life will make the person miserable. Sinful life will give miserable life. This is what happened to Adam and Eve when they committed sin in front of the Lord. They started to be sick. Sin and sickness go in hand in hand. And they started to have the word fear. Adam said to God, I have heard your word in paradise and I am Afraid, fear, the, the sickness of fear, ودخل الخوف جسم البشرية من ساعة الخطية. إذا زي ما بيقول الكتاب الخطية طرحت كثيرين جرحة وكل قتلاها أقوياء. علشان كده هوت لازم نحط في دماغنا الحتة ديت إنه المسيحية ديانة سلام ومحبة وفرح مهما كانت الأمور الإنسان فرحان متكل على ربنا عارف ان ربنا لا بد انه يعطي بسخاء فوق ما نفتكر او نظن يعطينا المسيح اما بالنسبة as for the man who was in the pool of Bethesda he was beside the pool and the pool had five branches a symbol of the five uh, books of Moses and a symbol of the five sacrifices of the Old Testament. And it was, was a huge appearance from outside, but from inside, very great weakness. Manzar kibir awi, birka, wa khamsat arwika, wa nas kachira, wa malak, wa biigi, lakin eh, ahyanan. He comes very infrequent. And only one person who is pulled down to the water who will be healed, nobody else. For this reason, it's not the outside appearance. Christianity came to give real inside gift to the people so that the people become happy, become content, no matter how it appears from outside. Let it be, but later on, everything will be fine afterwards. When the Lord Christ went to this man by the pool of Bethesda, he was so nice to him. And he respected his uh, opinion and his liberty. And a big lesson for us not to exceed our limit. He came to him and he said, do you want to be healed? Is that a question, Lord? Do you want to be healed? Yes, it is a question. Because yes, he is, need, he is in need to be healed. But he is still a human being. And he had to be consulted before anything is done to him. And he then, he said, get up, get up, 
and carry your bed. From what a big change. Someone 38 years old, his muscles are gone. All his joints are stiff. He cannot be mobile at all. To get up in one word and to carry his bed is a big message for us so that we never give hope. We can be really suffering from something so bad. But you know what? As long as we are relying on God, he will never forsake us. And he will indeed come at the proper time and he will heal us totally. And later on, this man, after the Lord healed him, he met him in the altar over there. And meeting him in the altar, this means this man started to realize that God is the most important thing. Why don't I go back to God? And, and God searched for him and talked to him. And he said to him, please, I'm warning you, sin would produce misery. الخطية هتجلع... تجعل الإنسان تعيس في حياته وإنت بعيد الخطية عن الخطية أنت مبسوط أنت عايش أنت مرتاح أنت في سلام أنت في هدوء ما فيش أي حاجة هتأثر فيك لكن الخطية ها أنت قد برئت فلا تعود تخطئ أيضا وفعلا شفاه خالص وبقى منظر طبعا ال... ال... اليهود قالوا إزاي ده عمل المعجزة دي في السبت سبت إيه يا جماعة هو ربنا من أجل السبت ولا السبت من أجل ربنا طبعا الله يعمل طول الوقت طول الوقت من أجل أولاده مش بس أيام الأسبوع يعمل طول الوقت المهم إن إحنا يا رب أعطينا صبر إن إحنا ننتظرك to wait on the Lord Lord give us patience to wait on you so that we can wait on you no matter what with full trust that you are going to help us. I want you to draw your attention to a verse on Psalm 27, verse 14. Psalm 27, verse 14 is very identical to Isaiah chapter 40. And both of them about waiting on the Lord. Wait, be patient, waiting on the Lord. He said, Wait on the Lord. انتظر الرب. تقوى. وليتشدد قلبك وانتظر الرب. And this is a big difference between someone who is hopeless, who is quick to lose hope, and someone who say, okay, it is not over until it is actually over. I'm going to wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. انتظر الرب يا ريتنا نحفظ الآية دي وموجودة في أشعياء إصحاح أربعين بيقول المنتظر الرب يزدادون قوة منتظر الرب يزدادون قوة يا رب أعطينا إن إحنا يكون عندنا فضيلة الصبر وإن إحنا يكون عندنا فضيلة الثقة هذا الإنسان يا رب تمانية وتلاتين سنة وهو مريض مين اللي يشيله من المرض مين اللي هو يقدر إن هو يساعده after he became so sick and from all direction but he never lost hope he stayed in and he explained his story to God he could have said to the Lord Jesus get out of here what do you mean that you would like to me to be healed you are asking me if I like to be healed get just to get out of here but he said no he said I explained to you every time I try to get to the pool Someone else goes before me. كل ما رأيتي يأتي قدامي آخر. فأنا خلاص ما نجيش أي أمل. لا أنا عندي أمل في المسيح. أستطيع كل شيء في المسيح يسوع الذي يقويني. ويرجع تاني يقول تعالوا إلي يا جميع المتعبين والثقيلي الأحمال وأنا أريحكم. لكن انتظر. خلي عندك صبر. على رأي البابا شنودة يقول مسيرها تنتهي كله للخير ومسيرها تنتهي وربنا موجود فلما يكون عندك صبر ربنا لا يمكن لابد ان هو يفرحك the Lord will fill our hearts with joy glory be to God forever and ever amen happy, happy Sunday everyone all the best for everyone thank you
Thank you, Abuna. Um, hello, hello, everybody. Um, the the Sunday school for all the kids, grade one to eight. Uh, please go to stgr.org forward slash online and find your respective grade. You're going to have a new link and you can link through that and the teacher are waiting for you. God bless. I love you all. Thank you, Abuna. You're welcome.